Hello YouTube, it's Doss Gregor, and welcome back to another Linux video. Today I talk about the power of one, because we only need one operating system, and that's Linux. And we only need one distribution, and that's Gen 2. No, no. ITs. ITs. There are different distributions out there, each one meeting everyone else's needs. That's the great and wonderful thing about Linux. But in all seriousness, let's talk about one shot or dash one. In eMerge, there is an option with one shot or dash one that enables you to install or reinstall a package without adding it to the world. The world is, an, is a file inside of var uh, that stores every application that you have said emerge dash av or just emerge package atom and it adds that to that world file when you do an emerge sync and it changes all of your e-builds and you do an emerge at world it looks at your world file and that's where it grabs everything it needs to upgrade and change and verify and rebuild Sometimes when you do an emerge dash dash sync, you'll see something pop up at the end, especially if portage has been updated, that it's important that you upgrade portage first. And they'll say something like, please do this by doing an emerge dash dash one shot dash dash ask dash dash verbose. Now, if you look at the man pages of emerge, you can find you can also shorten that by just one A, V, one for one shot, A for ask, B for verbose. And that will reinstall Portage without adding it to the world file. Why is it important sometimes not to add something to the world file? Well, if you had a problem with a dependency of an application and it needed to be rebuilt, if you were to add that just by doing, say, oh, we need to re re reinstall it, so let's just do emerge AV dependency. That is going to add it to the world file. That dependency was never in the world file to begin with. It was actually pulled in by emerge because this big package over here required it. And because this big package over here required it, Emerge and Portage knew to grab that dependency and bring it in and install it for the application. And any time that something changes with that big package, that big application, then it will look to see if the update to the dependency is good and pull it in again. However, if you emerge with dash AV that dependency, it adds it to the world file then what happens when you do a emerge at world is it looks at that dependency as being a main application and if there is an update to it it will pull it down and install it which could in turn break every application that it was initially rebuilt or, or built with with the older version of that dependency I hope I'm being clear because I know this can be a little confusing sometimes the importance of this is that you need to have your main application, like mPlayer, VLC, uh, Simple Screen Recorder, um, Kate, um, PC Man FM. Those are your applications, and they all have dependencies, and they all need to have a certain version of those dependencies. If the world, when updated, updates that dependency to a version that those applications aren't using and maybe they're not built to use, you could end up breaking your main applications and you might not even notice that that was the cause. That's why in the latest years with using Gen 2, I've started using fewer global use flags and been a little bit more careful of what I allow to go into my world folder or file. Another benefit to using the one shot 
is sometimes, and this is the great thing about Linux, is that you have so many options of software. Say, for instance, you're looking for some sort of screen capture program, something to take screenshots. Well, just to name a couple, you've, you've got Scrot, you've got Shutter, and my mind will go blank because of YouTube blindness, but there are probably a dozen other options. Those were just the first two that came to my mind. So you install one, and you say, I don't really like that. You install another. You don't really like that. You finally find the one that meets your needs. You like the way it functions. You, wait, you like the way it looks. And you decide that's the one you're going to keep. Now, if you are using the one-shot option, you could then use, once you find what you want, emerge dash dash no replace. And then that package, Atom. And it will add it to the world. And then if you did a depth clean, and as a warning, if you've not watched the things that I've talked about with depth clean, always when running depth clean for the first time, make sure you use the dash P option for pretend. The reason is sometimes depth clean, if it doesn't see a use for a specific application, that it doesn't see that something is being used and it's not in the world, it's going to go ahead and automatically remove it. So all those applications you tested, if you use dash 1AV as your emerge option, will get cleaned out and all the dependencies with them will be removed. Now, sometimes if you're using a kernel, this is an example of why it's important to use the dash P option. Sometimes when a kernel is updated, it will automatically choose the latest version of that kernel and if you look at your depth clean afterwards, it's going to want to uninstall your old kernel. If you're still using that old kernel and you want to continue to use it, you need to keep those source files. You need to have all of that there, especially if you're using something like VirtualBox and VirtualBox has to build its drivers for the modules against your current kernel. Well, at least against the kernel that you're using. In which case, it's important when you do emerge dash dash depth clean and the dash P option, if you see, for instance, I'm using right now uh, the 41986 Gen 2 kernel, which is the latest that uh, they have as stable. If my kernel had been updated during the last emerge upgrade, that particular kernel source would be removed with depth clean and I would have to use the emerge dash dash no replace and put that in gen 2 sources dash 4.19-86 it would protect it and put it into my world file and that way when you then look at emerge dash dash depth clean dash p again you'll notice it's not going to be removed it's important to look at those because sometimes there might be something in there that you did want to keep and you don't want it to remove. And by doing the dash dash no replace with that atom, you'll add it to the world file so it'll always remember to keep that. Very important, very useful, a very handy tool. And as I said in the past, before I understood the power of one, one shot, I would always just install something, reinstall something, and always use the AV, and then I would become into a problem that was terrible to try to figure out. And had I always used the one-shot option, I would never have run into those problems, never have run into where all of these dependencies got upgraded, but all the applications still were looking for the older version. And then you start ending up with circular dependency problems. You start seeing all kinds of errors about package such and such pulled in by this X, Y, and Z is required for version X of Paction Z. And then you'll see right below that package new version, which is required or pulled in by at world, is required or because it's in the world file. And you'll see all these other different errors. And when you try to figure those out, it can be a nightmare. And so I find a lot of times 
That's why when that happens, one of the things I do to kind of fix it is I will remove, if it's a dependency saying there's a conflict, I'll remove that dependency because it's not in the world file. And then when I do the emerge upgrade again, it should look at the packages that are in the world file and bring down those dependencies proper again at the version they need. Very helpful to remember. So I hope this helped you. Hope it didn't confuse you. And if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Goodbye.